YTPC Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airways of YouTube to say hello YouTube Pipe community. I hope you're well. Hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you. Doing something for the first time. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, I, I don't even know if this is going. I'm hoping this is going to be like there. <laughs> I'm doing. Uh, live YouTube live never done it before and uh, just thought I'd give it a shot and we'll see uh, you know um, I'm assuming this will be available for people to watch afterwards who knows I don't know how this stuff works learn just by doing it guess what doing it guess what it's Friday And I see, that this is crazy, it must be working. Hi Padre from Scotland, from Andy Walker. Hello Andy Walker. I, this is amazing technology. Uh, watch, my internet's gonna crash, like right in the middle of doing this. What I wanted to share with you today, there goes my list, it's breezy out here. I wanted to share with you today, Padre's top five English bulk blends. For those with you well here's why it's getting cooler in the winter time fall winter cool months i enjoy the english blends i just i love them i, I just have over the past couple of years have really acquired a taste uh, for latakia and for the orientals and uh, it's just it's good stuff so the other thing about bulk blends is they're inexpensive i look at that patrick sweeney hey from auburn alabama Okay, Auburn, Auburn, you gotta beat Bama, okay? Now we're gonna do our best down here in the bayou. Not this weekend, next weekend. But you guys, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let me get to my top five list. Why, why the top five English blends? I like them, and here's the deal. Typically your bulk blends, they're just inexpensive and they're easy to get a hold of. So, really criteria that I had today. It's a little breezy with the microphone. Uh, it is kind of messing with my lighter and the ability to keep this lit. Housekeeping, this is my Sab 3, the unfinished uh, author. Lovely pipe for smoking English blends. What's in it? It's my number one. And I'm gonna tell you what it is in just a moment. I'm not gonna take long today, folks. I promise this will this will be kind of a, a quickie because I'm just curious to see if this live thing works and it must because now it says, hi, Padre from England. What time is it in England and, and in Scotland? And uh, yeah, thank you, Patrick. Y'all do need to do some. I'm so tired of that. Roll Tide. Now watch, I just lost every one of my subscribers from out. <laughs> no, it's 9.30, Uncle Phil Seller says. So uh, it's 3.30 over here. Uh, so y'all are six hours ahead of us, but then next weekend we go we leave daylight savings time. I can't do the math. We fall back an hour. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know. I just like daylight savings time better. And when I was a kid, my grandmother liked uh, standard time better. And we used to fight about it. And she told me one time that day was of the devil. And standard time was God's time. <laughs> Let's get to the top five list. Good afternoon, Padre. That's coming from Mark in Rhode Island. Hello, Mark in Rhode Island. You, my friend, you, I got your email and uh, you, you're a blessing. I really, I just want to say that, Mark. I, I really, really appreciate uh, how you've blessed me uh, these past few months. Thank you, my friend. Top five list of bulk English blends. Here we go. Number five. Now, I did say the bulk blends tend to be uh, inexpensive. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm having a bad hair day. No, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, number five and number four, just a little bit more because they're unique. Good evening from Sweden. It's uh, Thomas Kalheim. I hope I said that right. Good evening. Good evening. Vintage Piper is online too. All right. I promise. Let me get through my top five list, guys, and then y'all can chime in and I'm going to say hi back. All right. Everybody. So um, I promise. Let, let me just get the list. This is fun. Let me just get the list out of the way, though, since that was the whole purpose of this. Number five. 
comes from the uh, Country Squire tobacconist down in Jackson, Mississippi. That's not too far from me. And it's a little something they call shepherd's pie. Now, I'm brand new to this. I've only had about four or five bowls of it. Uh, and what intrigued me about it, when you go on their website, Country Squire Tobacconist, it's a move over froggy or something like that. So it's intended to be, uh, uh, I guess, their breed placement or their, uh, are we there? Okay, I'm back again. Uh, something happened, it went fuzzy. It's intended to be uh, something of a Frog Morton type, I guess is what they're, so I said, well, I'm curious, I like good stuff. Now again, it's a little higher price for a bulk blend uh, because, you know, it, it's, it's in house. They're the only folks that do it. The tasty English blend, Shepherd's Pie from the Country Squire Tobacconist. I'll say this, I wish it had a hint more of maybe Latakia, uh, uh, the taste of it, and so then I end up going after the taste, coughing a little harder, and then, you know, you don't, you don't get the full appreciation. It's one of those, uh, it's like that Chinese yo-yo, the harder you pull, the more you cart it. So like with a lot of tobaccos, if you can just back off of it and uh, take it nice and slow and sip it, it it's not going to burn you. It's, it, it, it's blended well, it smokes cool, it's flavorful, uh, but um, if you sip it, it, the flavor is just so much more present. Shepherd's Pie, that's number, number five on the bulk lens. Number four, again, one of the ones that might be a little bit more costly because again, it's just one uh, place that does it and it's Boswell, it's Boswell's Northwoods. And that's been around, folks have done lots of reviews on it. If you haven't had it, all I can say is get it, try it. You're probably gonna like it. If you don't, ship it to me, Northwoods. Northwoods is sometimes a little bit difficult to get a hold of. Uh, it had nothing to do with being made from McClellan blends because that would mean it ain't there no more. Hmm. Hope that's not the case. But anyway, that's my number for Northwoods. Now, the troops you can really get very inexpensive. The number three is from Sutlip. It's called Medium English. It's kind of a quintessential English blend. And uh, if you want to get into stuff, Hotlift Medium English is probably the way to go. Very inexpensive, very good, burns well, uh, smooth, consistent, not overly complex, but good stuff. My number two uh, of the top five list of uh, English bulk blends is Star of the East by C&D. Now this also comes in a tin, and I'm going to tell you, uh, I've had the tin, I've had the bulk, I prefer the bulk. So a lot of people prefer the tin. Too much work. There's just too much work involved in trying to break it up and all that stuff. You go get it in the bulk, it's already, it's there. You just pack your pipe, you smoke it, and it's a lat hit, folks. It's my number one on my top five list of bulk English blends is what I'm smoking right, or I was trying to smoke right now the wind it's from lane it's been a sleeper i don't know where it's been actually it was out there and then apparently it went away and lane brought it back in the past couple of years it's called lane being maybe it means bulky i don't know i don't even want to i don't want to hazard a guess here but it is let me tell you this stuff is dirt cheap it is tasty as all get out it is one of the coolest smoking tobaccos you're ever going to encounter. It's got just a tiny, tiny little bit of, um, no, it doesn't have the, the Perique, but it's, it's, it's Oriental, um, it's an Oriental Turkish, Latakia, Virginia base, I would, I would believe. Uh, it's just flavorful. I don't, I don't know what else to say for this. It's, again, it'll, it'll burn slowly, it'll burn coolly. Um, it's, it's smoky, it's smooth. It's just good stuff. It's Lane BS005. Again, one of the, you know, just readily available. You, you can get it anywhere. In fact, if you go to your local B&M, it might even be packaged under some other English sounding name or something. But you can get it at any of the big uh, uh, WWW types. Lane BS005. It's Padre's number one English bulk blend. So I got through that. All right. Now, I know there's some, it looks like there's, there's uh, 
it's eight people I've heard from the vintage piper I've heard from Sweden Scotland England this is incredible I mean this is absolutely incredible I, I know this has been available probably for like about 32 years on YouTube and I'm just getting around to trying it <laughs> But this is really quite a blessing. So uh, to each of you out there who have uh, matches has tuned in, get out of here. Look at that, matches 860. You know, you know it's going to be a good Friday evening when matches is there. Uh, and Mark just told him, hey, uh, from Rhode Island. <laughs> I, maybe I'll just like eat up and, you know, I'll go cook dinner or something and y'all can keep chatting. It's just a thought, no. <laughs> Hey, listen, I want to tell you all this, and, and you can let me know in the chat if y'all have any plan, plans are. Trunk or treat uh, tomorrow evening, Saturday evening out at the church, and uh, really looking forward to that. We've got some folks who are going to line up their cars and decorate it. And this all over the neighborhood, hoping we can bring some kids in and just have a, have a good time with them, give them some candy and such. We've got... Um, one of the local uh, units that rides and parades down here. They're clowns and they're supposed to be there. And uh, we're just gonna give out candy and, and uh, just have a, a blast. And um, hopefully some folks will show up, some of the kids will show up in their, in their costumes and such too, because that's always a fun time. We didn't want to do it on Halloween night. Didn't want to compete with, you know, real neighborhood trick-or-treating and all. So we said Saturday evening would be the time to do it. And that's what we're going to do uh, at church tomorrow so anybody else got any halloween plans for Mitch piper says he's going to do a live chat tonight eight o'clock eastern time that's seven o'clock my time if you're over in you know, uh where were we before scotland england and sweden and such it's like six hours later so vintage piper will be on, uh, eight o'clock eastern time doing a live chat i'm hoping i uh i'll be able to do that I, i'm supposed to be going to a party tonight uh, but if, if, I, uh, if I can get to it, I want to tune in there, Vintage Piper, and, and see how you're doing. So anybody else got Halloween plans? I know uh, Matches is hanging out at a place for Halloween called the Haunted Bookshop. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty, pretty lame. Hey, Vintage Piper. So um, I have also been riding around and thinking about doing over on the other channel, Padre Rider. Walter says he's going to be watching some scary movies. I was thinking about riding around uh, with the action cam and, uh, and, and getting some video shots. There are some people who go all out for Halloween. I mean, have decorated their houses like you just wouldn't believe. And, and some of it's uh, uh, pretty cool. So I was thinking about making, if I get some time, maybe make a video about that. Trunk or tree at church in Ohio, says uh, Big Casper. Good job. That's exactly what we're doing down here, too. You're going to wear the Zorro. Yeah, Mark in Rhode Island must have seen my Twitter uh, post earlier today. I had my, uh, my mask on. I was, uh, I was practicing. It's a Zorro looking mask. He says he's going to St. Augustine and leading some ghost tours. Wow, that's Vintage Piper. That sounds awesome, actually some ghost tours. I hope you're going to talk about that tonight, Vintage Piper, when you do your uh, YouTube live. So anyway, listen, I'm looking at this. It's already into, uh, what, 14 minutes, and um, I just wanted to share that top five. I'm actually just thrilled at how this thing works, and so maybe what I need to do is uh, do this on a more regular basis and set up something in advance and, and let folks know, and we can have some back and forth and some chat, and I probably should use uh, different so I can you know follow because once it's there and then it goes away Mark and Rhode Island says that would be a great video love to see that. ah you see it that just disappears but something tells me if I had it here I could look at it on a, on a different device uh, trunk at the zoo that sounds cool yeah awesome awesome so anyway look I'm gonna sign off for now I am just uh, thrilled that uh, you guys are out there and that you were chiming in and chatting with me. This is really cool. Uh, I'm thrilled that it worked and I, I'm gonna get better at, uh, at doing this. Big Casper says, Briar Report. I think he meant Briar Report. Uh, wonderful, wonderful site to go to, briarreport.com. Briarreport.org is now the online magazine for that too. So you'll 
probably want to buzz on over and check that out. Phil does a fantastic job uh, with, with those sites. So, hey, listen, again, thrilled that so many of you have uh, been on. Appreciate it. And uh, I'm really, I'm really charged about this. So I'm going to figure out how to do this uh, a little bit more regularly. Kind of like uh, I know Matches had started doing like Friday Night Live, and then he had some technical problems going on and such. And um, but again, tune in tonight for the Vintage Piper. He's going on at eight o'clock Eastern time. I'm gonna get off for now because I'm gonna go somewhere where it's not so we're gonna uh, light up this Lane BS005, my number one blend in the top five list of bulk English blends. Padre Piper. Wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings. If you're going to go out there this weekend and have some fun for Halloween, folks, stay safe and watch out, particularly on Halloween night. Just be careful out there and watch out for the kids. Y'all take care. God bless.